This is the Ryback and Ryback S3 steam machine. It's designed to allow the converter to shrink individual samples around containers. You can do a lot of different shaped containers. They could be plastic, they could be glass. The unit has a boiler positioned underneath. You can see it here. The boiler is a stainless steel boiler and it has ratings of UL, CE, CSA, and TUV. And it just plugs into a normal 110 volt outlet. The fill hole is right here and we supply you with a container and a funnel so it's real simple to fill up. And the sight glass here shows how much liquid or water is left in the tank. The on and off button is around the side and it's a three position button. You can turn it to warm up which takes the water almost to boiling and once it warms up the light goes off you turn it to steam and it takes about eight or ten minutes to come up to steam. Now you want to be sure that as you operate this unit you wear protective gloves and these gloves are steam resistant. I would suggest that you purchase a set of gloves that go at least halfway up on your arm so you don't burn, get anybody burnt. The unit itself is this chamber and the chamber allows you to take a sleeve, slide it on a container, and insert it into the chamber. You simply slide the top over, lift the basket up, put your container inside the basket and you want to try to put it in the center and slowly lower the basket into the chamber. Once it's lowered you close the top, you give it about five to seven seconds. After, the, after that you open the lid, lift the basket up, put the basket back in, and close the lid. Now you want to keep the lid closed so you can retain the heat in the chamber. I don't know how well you can see this, but if you look at it, you can see we have nice, even, smooth shrink all the way around the container. One way to check to see if it's shrinking evenly is to look at the seam and see that the seam is perfectly straight along the container. So you know you're getting a nice, smooth, even shrink. Now, the unit is set up so you could run up to a 750 milliliter tall container without putting the attachment on. The attachment actually sets on the top, you remove the basket, you set the unit on the top, you allow this to warm up. This has to warm up before you can get a good even consistent shrink takes about five to seven minutes. Now after eight minutes the cap is thoroughly heated and I'm ready to shrink. In this case I'm using a glass bottle and with the glass bottle you don't have to put any water in it. With the plastic bottles I highly recommend that you fill them with water or a liquid before you shrink them because there's enough heat in here especially on thin wall containers you could actually shrink the container. To shrink this I simply remove the cap, gently lower this into the center of the container. Again, it's imperative that you use your heat resistant, steam resistant gloves. Put the cap back on, give this five to eight seconds, Remove the container, put the cap back on. Again, you want to retain the heat that's in the, in the chamber. And if you take the cap off, you'll lose some heat. Now you can see I have a nice even shrink all the way around the container, even up around the top in the high shrink areas. One way to tell that I'm getting a nice even shrink in the chamber is to look at the seam line. You can see here 
how straight this line is, is staying. And that tells you that the shrink is even and it mimics what a steam tunnel can do in the, in the manufacturing process during the application. When I'm finished doing the taller bottles, I simply remove the cap, put the basket back in, close the lid, and again, I want to allow five to seven minutes, five to eight minutes, for this to heat up before I begin shrinking again. I want to be sure that that pot is warm. If you try to shrink it without it getting warm, it may change the performance of the unit. On the table are just a few of the containers that we shrunk using the S3 steam machine. You can see some of these are squares, some are rectangles, some are round. They have high shrink in the neck area. They're very irregular shaped containers and there's a variety of, of different shapes and films that you could use in this unit. It's simple to use, it's operator safe, and the unit works very well on a variety of different shaped containers.